I feel like this is very bright. I feel like this is bright. Just. It is bright. It is bright, isn't it? Like, please tell me that's bright. But is it bright? So I'm just looking at the camera down the side here. So it looks like I'm not looking at the. <clears throat> I'm looking at the camera lens now, but I'm not there. And I'm just trying to see if it's too bright here. Need a shave, but not that I can grow a beard. <laughs> I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinler's Creatures. But on today's episode, we are going to be pairing a couple of Monus and Tropus Balfouris. It kind of feels like a while since I've done one of these pairs. You know, actual, not not the pair per se, but the actual, you know, editing up, well, a video. Publishing a video for you guys to watch. It feels like it's been a while. Probably like, I don't know, it feels like it's been about seven months. It's probably, you know, probably been like two months, but I'll pull it up down here how long ago it was. Hopefully it's not, not that soon. Otherwise, this video might come out a bit later on. We'll find out. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's a couple different pairs over probably, I think two or three days maybe. I think it's two different days, these ones were. So anyway, the, the first two are with Craig and Becky. So, uh, you know, Craig Couchlock Trachnophobia, as most of you know him as. And then his missus, which is Becky, they came over, done a couple Balfour repairs. And I must say, Becky grabbed one of the spare cameras and she was hot on that footage. It was bang on. Uh, she got some really nice footage. That is a camera girl in the making right there. So, yeah, Craig, if you're watching this, get her a camera. Get her to record your videos, dude. <laughs> and then Craig being Craig, you know him. He just delved straight in. He ended up wearing a couple of them, handling them as well. So, yeah, you know, it's it's just it's just a normal with Craig, if I'm honest. And now the sun's come right out. I was moaning this morning that it was a bit cloudy. And then the last pair, so the first and second is with Craig, the last pair was with Charlotte and Isabel, so Charlotte's sister. Um, it was her first time witnessing a pairing and it was also Charlotte's first time doing a pairing herself. And it's rather gutting because it would have been great to have her right here now for the intro and outro, just to tell you guys what she thought of her first ever Monus and Tropus Balfouri pairing. Unfortunately, she's gone shopping, so yeah, <laughs> we need some food, all right? All I can say on her behalf is she, all, all she was really worried about was the male being eaten. She didn't really want to do a pairing where the male got eaten. Obviously I explained to her that Monus and Tropus Balfouris are probably the most sort of docile species to pair. Um, it's, I don't know, I've, I know people have had male Balfouris eaten. It's unlikely, it's unlikely to happen. There's always a chance, but it doesn't really happen that often, if I'm honest. It's never happened with me. Fingers crossed it never does, touch wood. I think this is ply, I don't really know, but still wood. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's never gonna happen, but that, that was her worry. She was worried that she was gonna do the pear and the male was gonna get eaten, and it was more a... I've proper just stood on a moat, and I do not know why there was a moat on the floor. That is... That is mashed up, I'm not going to lie. What even was it? I think it was the LP, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> at least it wasn't a tarantula. Don't worry, I don't have tarantulas loose on the floor, stepping on them. But yeah, that was her worry. It's not happening, I don't want it ever to happen, especially if I'm doing the Balfour repair. But to be fair, you know, with Craig, Charlotte and the lot, <clears throat> I can grab that camera and get that footage for you guys. So before we get into the pairs, I just want to show you guys something. So I, I've explained it in a video before but I'd rather just show you you know not everyone watches all my videos but basically I rehouse all my Monus and Tropus Balfouri females into enclosures like this mainly for the fact that they were all in different enclosures to be fair you know glass plastic and it just looked really odd and I wanted to make like a sort of Balfouri side of the room and it just looked pretty trash to be fair so I thought you know what all my breeding females I'm gonna stick inside this enclosure like not all inside this one Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stick one female Monus and Tropus Balfouri into these. Um, I can have them all stacked up and it will look all nice. And then I can put the males next to them as well. Um, yeah, fingers crossed that works out well. But that's going to be saying down the line that I'll show you guys. Obviously, you know, 
if they, any of them end up dropping in the future, I will update you guys and I will show you because fingers crossed these work perfectly. But enough talking, let's get into some of this footage, shall we? Enjoy, guys. The Monocentropus Balfouri. What could I say, eh? Quite a lot, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely stunning. The colours on them are absolutely fantastic. But the main attraction to me is that they do really well in a communal tank together. So, you know, let's not talk about the argument of, oh, they're communal in the wild, or are they not? The point is, is that they do really well in captivity at the end of the day. That's it. But Monocentropus Balfouri parents don't always go alright. And that's not because the male gets eaten. You know, touch wood, never happened before, like I said. But that's because either the male or female just does nothing. Just like this male here. It's going inside her burrow. While she's on top of it. She's on top, dude. And then, you know, you got them that just come out the enclosure half the time. Just like this one. And then, you know, you got the ones that just go off the table as well. And then you get them back in, and half the time they just don't do anything. Or you have the, the male that shows his presence and the female's not interested. Or you have a female that shows her interest and he's not interested. And then you got this one that just goes on top of the burrow while the female's inside the burrow. You can never win. And then after a while, the male gets fed up and walks away. You didn't complete your journey, buddy. And then you got the ones that come inside the female's enclosure and go straight for that water dish. Hydration is key. He's got a big old mission ahead of him. Although this time, nothing happened, so yeah, it was a fail. But yeah, half the time nothing really happens if I'm honest. So when I do get some good parents, I do like to store them to show you. And there's some quite nice footage coming up, especially the last one, some nice macro footage on it. I hope you enjoy it all. So let's get into the first pairing. And this first one, well it's pretty special to me actually. It says on the enclosure, pretty sure that it is female. Pretty sure that it, it is female? It's gone, sorry I can't read that anymore. <laughs> but yeah, this one in particular is from Amy at Pet Rock and Roll. So she ended up giving me a male Balfouri along with one that she suspected was a female. And her suspicion was correct. It is indeed a female. And today we're going to be pairing it for the very first time. And this male right here is going to be the lucky male to be paired with this female. Now that Craig's finished his handling, you know, he's got to do his handling, <laughs> it is now time to put the male in. And it wasn't that long until the male started to make his way over to our burrow, as you will see. He starts to shake, and as he gets closer to the burrow, she makes her way out. And just like that, it starts to happen. He lifts her legs up and goes right under. Now out of all the females that are paired over the course of a couple days, 
this is the one I want the sack from the most. I would love to just be able to go back to Amy and be like, that female you gave me, boom, got an egg sack, we got some babies, result. While we're talking about Balfs, if you're on Facebook, make sure you go check out the Balfori Communal Club. I'll put a link down in the description. So after some time, the male was finished. And this is what I like about Balfour is because the, the females normally go in this sort of trance-like state where they don't really move from their position and their legs are up in the air. And the male can just freely walk away, as you can see. Pretty cool if I'm honest. <laughs> And the females can stay in this trance-like state for ages. It's crazy. And now that we're finished with the first pairing, let's have a look at the second one with Becky and Craig again.
Now that we're finished with the second one, let's go to the last pairing for the evening, which Charlotte ended up doing. And uh, there's some really nice macro footage on this one.
then after all the pairs are done, I normally leave it a week or two and try it again. And then, you know, sometimes again. <laughs> but that is all the footage for today's video, guys. Like I said, if anything happens with these egg sacs, I will update you on the channel. I have got a couple of update videos to do on numerous stuff, so you know, like rehouses I've done recently. I want to show you guys some of the tank because you know some of the some of the stuff that they've done in that tank is absolutely insane. Uh, same with the Balfouri communals. To be fair, I want to do an update on that, and then I've got uh, a few other little updates to show you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So if you could like, comment, and share, that'd be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. Don't forget to check out my description. There is a link for the link tree. That sounds weird. Link for the link tree. Down in my description. It's got all my social medias on there. Please uh, make sure you go check it out. It's greatly appreciated. You know, support doesn't really cost anything. A like, a share, none of that costs anything. But Mr. Grindler's done here. So are my creatures, and so are these Balfouris for now. Have a great week, guys. You all deserve it. Peace. And that was only my second time recording this because basically the the lighting was a bit like zoom zoom it was like going all weird but fingers crossed there's enough light here someone did actually say in one of my previous videos you need like a little halo light on top of your head so it can show your hair more to be fair i need to redo my hair it's not it's not perfect at the minute my roots are starting to come through again although i don't mind the little roots uh, but I do need to do a fresh dye and I need to shut up because I need to edit this and I need to crack on with some feeding. So yeah, see you later guys. Have a great one. See you next week at 8pm. Peace.